please like and comment on the video below. That will allow me to produce better quality videos and more of them in the future. So I want to talk to you in this video about Signal's very powerful recent addition that we've added to Bet Angel, and I'm not sure that I've talked about it or explained it in enough depth. Um, so this video is going to explain that. Now, to bring up Signals, it's a, a function within or a feature within automation. So you need to go to Guardian to start up the automation. And if we click on that and then go to the automation tab, it, the, when you first arrive in Guardian, it will be here. Click on the automation tab. And what I'm going to show you here is a file that's available to download on the forum. If you go to the automation shared files area on the forum, navigate to the tennis area and you will find this rule, which is called back server if previous service game won easily. So what we're going to do to explain signals is to have a look at this rules file because it's been carefully constructed uh, to take advantage of the signal functionality and it's best explained if I walk you through what this particular file is actually doing. So if I go up here to edit rules file, in, incidentally to import a rules file you just need to click here, download the rules file to your hard drive and, and import it and it will import and you must import it into the very latest version of BetAngel because obviously the latest version has all of these features um, within it and this rules file was created within the latest version so obviously it won't work on older, older versions. So yeah, import the rules file and if I edit this I'll talk you through exactly what signals are. So if I click on edit rules file you'll see the entire file uh, up here in front of us and all the instructions within it and let me explain exactly what we are looking at. So you can see there are a number of different um, actions within this particular file, but the first one that we'll look at is set signal to bet uh, next serve 40 love. And uh, if I talk you through this, it will uh, give you an idea of exactly what a signal is. So for people that have coded um, or done any programming language, uh, signals are variables. Uh, we've called them signals uh, because calling them a variable a lot of people probably wouldn't understand what a variable is and calling it a signal is more or less e explanatory in terms of what it does and the idea behind the signal is that you can assign um, a signal a name and then you can actually set that signal to whatever value you like and then pass that to other parts of the automation sounds a bit complicated but if you hang on here I'll you'll see as we walk through this file it will become all perfectly self-explanatory so the first part of this automation here you can see is named set signal to bet to next serve 40 love and it's going to run um, f for about 10 hours we're basically just covering ourselves here we're saying for a very long period of time and let's see what it does so that's the rule name the rule type is set or modify a signal only so these are all of the things that you can do and down here you can see uh, set or modify a signal only. This is the time in which it's going to be active within the market. There are no parameters attached to it. And here are the conditions. So if we look at the top part here, you can see that the condition type is signal set. So it's saying to BetAngel, set a signal. We're going to call it bet and it's for the selection that uh, you've nominated or whatever however you've decided to construct that and it's going to the condition is not set with a value so we're basically saying look at this thing called bet um, is there a value in it and this is saying there is no value in it so it's important to do this because in order to set the value we're basically saying that there's nothing there already so it, it avoids a duplicate bet or avoids overwriting the signal and um, if we go into uh, the next bit here, it says uh, the, the server, tennis serving condition is that the, the player that this uh, rule is going to be run on is currently serving. So we're basically saying the signal named bet doesn't have a value in it. In other words, it hasn't triggered before. And the selection is serving. And then this one says the score is 40 love. But it also um, contains a condition here that says, and it's not a tie break. So you can see here, what we're saying here is uh, all of those things. And then the upshot of that is what it's going to do is it's going to set a signal. The signal's name is going to be bet and the value is going to be 40. You can see it actually writes um, the signal 
um, information to the log so you can actually keep a track on exactly what's going on so it's just providing you feedback in terms of if your automation is working. You can see above that um, you can do other things as well but we're not doing that on this particular occasion we're just saying set the signal value and the signal name of bet to 40. So you can see the next um, rule does pretty much the same thing uh, but it's just doing it if it's 40 15. So this is the um, if the service game was won easily this is how it's going to identify that this condition is particularly active so it's it's looking bet angel is looking in the market and it's going uh, was that game 140 love or you know is, is, the, is, the, is the game 40 love is it 40 15 if it is then it's going to set that particular signal it's going to set that variable so uh, those two elements are scanning for those score lines but if we actually look um, down at uh, exactly what's going to happen. What we're saying is this rule is set up so that when it sees a 40 love or a 40 15 at the next opportunity it's going to back the server. So how does it do that? Let's have a look. So this element of the automation is called back server. It's going to place a back bet unsurprisingly for this length of time and this many times. Um, the parameters are it's going to place it at the third best market price. So it's just going to say, well, you know, I'm going to go into the market and to guarantee that I get filled, we're just going to go a couple of ticks away uh, from where the current price is. Uh, the conditions are the following. So you can see here, the first condition says signal bet for the current selection is. So it's saying signal condition for the signal called bet for the selection is set with a value. So it's saying, aha, it has noticed that it's been 40 love or 40 15 and therefore um, we'll place a back bet but subject to the fact that it has found that so can you see what it's doing up here it's setting the value so it's looking for 40 love 40 15 it's creating um, the signal called bet and then when we actually go to place the back bet that's conditional on that having been met so it's actually passing information from one part of the rule to the other it's incredibly powerful you can do so much with it you can do some really creative things with the automation so yeah it's basically saying has has bet angel has the automation identified that this scoreline has occurred yes it has then it says well okay is this person serving yes they are and is the score love all yes it is and then it will place the bet if any of these conditions are not met if it's not love all they can the, the player isn't serving or it hasn't found in the other part of the automation that the score line is the one that we're looking for then it won't do anything and uh, finally at the end here you can see that what it actually does is it resets the signal so it clears the signal bet back to zero and the whole sequence can start again so can you see suddenly we have um, the automation has the ability to pass information from one part of a rule to the other so it makes it incredibly powerful who knows in a future version of Bet Angel it may become self-aware <laughs> but seriously you can see that actually you know it is very powerful and it can do quite complicated tasks and pass information backwards and forwards to itself repeatedly so it can trigger a bet based upon a certain set a criteria reset itself or only do it for a certain time uh, or there's so much you can do so signals is actually a really important part of the automation now and uh, you know it is a little bit complicated that I'm talking through a lot of stuff here and probably the best way to understand and play around with this is to download the actual rule itself or any of the other rules that contain signals that are listed on the forum because if you download edit the file in the way that we've done here and play around with it you'll begin to get a much better idea of exactly how to use it or how the rules that we have put onto the forum that we've checked and run use the signals uh, but they are incredibly powerful and of course the great thing about automation is this can run in the background of a market that you're actively trading or if you're trading another market this can go off and do this for you in the background so why not add in a sound alert um, or a switch to market alert or you know there's so many things you can do maybe you want to find out when a, a player um, his, is two love down in the second set or something and you want to make something conditional upon that um, or maybe you know if they were 2-0 down and they're now 3-2 up or something like that that can all be done using uh, signals and all of the automation that we've got here so anyway, it's a very powerful feature. I realize it's a little complex, so download it and have a play with it. Uh, but yeah, certainly check it out. It's available on the very latest version of Bet Angel.